Aloha beautiful people. If we're just meeting, my name is Madhava with Root and Elevate. This video is about my own journey with the liver and gallbladder cleanse designed by Ayurvedic practitioner and author Andreas Moritz. I will share with you my experience through two rounds of this cleanse and well, what kind of results I got and whether it worked or not. Hopefully, me sharing my experience will help you gain some insight and perhaps make the right choice for you. Of course, please do not take anything I say as medical advice. Please consult your medical doctor or your naturopathic doctor before you start this process. With that said, this video is not a how-to. Why? Well, number one, this cleanse is no joke. So you may end up hurting yourself if you don't follow the instructions with care. And number two, it would be irresponsible for me to tell you how to without you understanding the whole process and the whole picture. So it is very important that if you want to do this cleanse, you read the book cover to cover. Questions related to the how to, read the book. Questions related to my experience, write them below and I'll answer them. So, if you are grounded yet courageous enough to explore alternative ways of healing, then stay tuned because this is about to get a bit intimate. It all started with very itchy ankles right before I went to bed. I suspected that perhaps something was off with my liver. I went to the doctor and asked him to order a liver blood panel just to check if everything was okay. The results show a low alkaline phosphatase. Alkaline phosphatase is an enzyme found in all tissues in our body, but mostly in the liver, the kidneys, the intestines, and the bones. There could be many reasons for this enzyme to be low. One of them being poor nutrition, a lack of protein in the diet, vitamin C, zinc, and magnesium deficiencies. Since I know that nutrition is something I do so well, I brushed it off. I told myself that it was probably low because a few days before the test, I did a water fast. Six months later, I took the test again, and now the levels had dropped even lower. I did some more research and made a list of possible causes and then tested for them all. From anemia to deficiencies to thyroid problem and even strange diseases like hypophosphatasia. The results, normal. Everything was normal. Yet I kept waking up in the middle of the night with nausea and strong abdominal pain right in the center radiating to the right. And I felt fatigue and headachy throughout the day. Almost felt like vertigo. Something was not right. My doctor said that most likely the nausea was related to the gallbladder. He also mentioned that 40% of the surgeries performed in the US are to remove the gallbladder in women over 40 and that I needed to do an ultrasound. Wait. What? 40%? That's crazy high statistic. Well, number one, I don't have the insurance or money to do an ultrasound. Number two, getting an ultrasound would mean going through the bureaucratic system of getting government insurance, a primary care physician, which can take forever, then doing the ultrasound, then getting another appointment with the primary care physician, which again can take forever. I mean, I needed relief. So I immediately started reading the liver and gallbladder cleanse book and started prepping right away. Now, being in the healing arts for 17 plus years, I knew that I not only needed to address the physical self, so I made a list of supportive things I could do to love up my liver and gallbladder in different ways. That list contained the gallbladder and liver cleanse, castor oil packs daily, water and coffee enemas, during the cleanse and two days after. A specific yoga set that is designed to release emotions stored in the liver, meditation, journaling, among other things. 
it makes sense that I would have emotions stored in my body, like frustration, anger, and who knows what else, after going through so much for the last few years. Pregnancy, difficult labor, emergency surgery, having an injured child, losing my child, and then going through hell, withdrawing from toxic medications such as benzos. I've been doing my inner work and here it is, another layer of that onion to peel off. So here I am preparing for this cleanse. I got lots of apples because, well, no way I was going to drink pasteurized juice for a cleanse. I made and drank fresh juice and apple cider vinegar daily, fresh coconut water, I ate no animal products and no dairy for six days to prepare. Here is a glimpse to my first day. All right, this is day number one. This is my first coffee edema of the preparation for the gallbladder and liver miracle cleanse ready to do this all right so i'm gonna turn it on Ooh, wish me luck <laughs> yoga was amazing there was a point where after releasing a lot of the anger i just burst into tears and there was no thought attached to that to that it was more like just a need for release and tears are so amazing and so healing. I'm feeling so grateful. On my third day, I started to feel a lot of fear come up to the surface. And I'm just feeling like so scared. <laughs> this is what healing looks like. <laughs> Messy. <laughs> On my fifth day, things shifted and I started to feel more calm and centered. And well, take a look. So I must report that I've been sleeping amazing. And well, today I got the castor oil in the mail. I am done now. Cheers. Pretty yummy. I did castor oil packs from there on every day for a few days. On day six, I did my routine of enemas, fasted all day, took the Epsom salts and the disgusting and famous grapefruit juice and olive oil concoction right before I went to bed. Here's a glimpse of, the, of that day, the actual cleanse day and night. Well, day six. You see that toilet paper there? <laughs> well, I am not excited about doing this again. Today's the last day though. Cheers. Oh my God, I have so much resistance today. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready to release anything that is in my liver that does not serve me. I am ready. Second serving of six ounces Epsom salts. First round was disgusting. Okay, here you go. Whoa. That taste is disgusting, like soap. Well, it's almost 9.30 and no movement, so here I go again. Not that bad. After drinking the olive oil and grapefruit juice concoction at 10 p.m., I lay in my bed, face up with a pillow under my head, turn off the lights, focus on my breath, and let my body do its thing. Lots of gurgling and sensations of things moving in the gallbladder and liver. And then I drifted into peaceful sleep. The next day is when you're supposed to release the stones. Here's what happened that day. 
just woke up. I'm ready to take the other portion of it of Epsom salt. I don't look forward to it. This is not that easy. This is not easy to do. Cheers to health. Okay, reporting. It's 8 a.m. I'm taking my last dose of Epsom salts. I still have seen nothing, no movement, no going to the toilet. So I'm feeling a bit concerned. And my mind goes into, well, are you really ready to let go of these things energetically? And I know this is just my mind f***ing with me, basically. But um, I hope to see some results very soon. Well, you guys, good news. Four huge stones came out. I mean, not huge, but like big enough. And, you know, I've done this cleanse before and I've never seen anything that big. So I'm really glad those things are out of my body. Okay, guys, I just finished doing a water enema because I was feeling like I needed, I needed a little help for the stones to come out. And I'm telling you, I'm amazed. This is just insane. Like triple the size. So many of them. I thought I was pooping, but it wasn't poop. It was a stone. It's crazy. I tell, I show you the two plates. I know it's gross, but I hope that this feels inspiring to you. Here it goes. This is the second plate. there and, I sh and I'll also take a picture so you can see it better and that's the first plate this morning but that's like double the size or triple the size crazy I felt amazing afterwards my skin was glowing I was feeling energized and less nauseous i let three weeks go by and then i did the cleanse again on day six same same juice castor oil packs animas i took a bath i i got a massage mm. i'm actually tired of it but today is the last day on day seventh i passed a bunch of stones but not as big and not as many as the cleanse before. A lot of what's called chaff or like a powder on top of the water in the toilet that floats. Now, I'm not gonna show you that because that's a little too gross. I took the stones to pathology to get analyzed by the lab with a doctor's order. The results, well, they said poop. They said that these green things were not stones, but poop. Wait, what? I was so confused. I immediately asked my liver detox community group about this and was told that according to Andrea Moritz, the creator of this cleanse, when sending stones to get analyzed, I was expected to get that answer. He said that these green stones were not calcify stones, but cholesterol stones that come from the liver. My doctor talked to other doctors about my experience, with my consent, of course. And all of them concurred that these green things are not stones. He did say, though, in an email, quote, however, the protocol still seems to work to clear out the bile dots, as evidenced by the shaft in the water and as evidenced by the reduction of your symptoms. How do I feel after two rounds of the liver and gallbladder cleanse? Well, I have no nausea and no pain anymore. My levels of alkaline phosphatase have increased. They're not within the normal range yet, but they're going in the right direction. If anything, I think that taking the time to pause, to fast, to do enemas and do yoga and journal and release you know, emotions and toxins of any kind was definitely beneficial. Would I do it again? Yes, I would. 
Not like a lot of people do, 40 and 60 times or more. I believe that too much of anything is not good. But I would do it again because it helped. I did an ultrasound and it showed no hard calcified stones. They found something called ecogenic material. In other words, the ultrasound picks up sounds or echoes of something moving inside the gallbladder. And then they said that they found sludge, which is defined as thick cholesterol or calcium salts. I think there's still some ecogenic material in there, aka cholesterol stones. Some more of that green stuff. If you found this video interesting, vulnerable, insightful, interesting, hey, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't, and when you do, remember, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Thanks so much for watching, and aloha.